Welcome back everybody, today we're here to talk about The Walking Dead Season 10 Episode 15 and we're going to be looking at the new images we got for this week from Skybound. We got over 30, so there's a lot of good images, we're going to go through them uh, and break them down uh, picture by picture and then you know we got the Negan, Judith, Whisper stuff and then we also got some Lydia, um, you know, um, in the group back, you know, what they're dealing with with the Whispers coming after them and then we also got uh, the group at the, in the city with Eugene and Yumiko and his Ezekiel and Princess. So we're going to go through all these photos and break them down. Let me know what you think about them in the comments down below. Obviously, spoiler warning, in case you haven't been caught up with The Walking Dead, go check it out and then come back to this video. But with all that being said, let's get into these images. Alright, the first image we have here is of Daryl and Judith. As we know, they are going to be spending some time together in this episode. And we saw in the trailer that Judith was asking Daryl to kind of train her because she wants to protect herself and protect others and RJ because remember Michonne is gone um so Michonne is gonna be gone and now she doesn't have um you know Michonne or Rick there obviously she has people around her like a lot of people who care and love for her um so she doesn't have to worry like she's not like alone or anything of like that but she still wants to and I, I think Michonne leaving and her sort of this is definitely going to help her I think mature and grow as a character so we're going to be starting to see a lot of that I believe which I am excited for uh then we have another shot of Judith here as well and then we go to the city where we have Princess here and King Ezekiel. Uh, so it looks like Princess is going to be helping them out. Um, I like Princess. I made a video talking about Princess the other day. Uh, yesterday actually in my opening minutes uh, because the opening minutes was like a continuation of where it left off in episode 14 and yeah princess is a pretty likable character let me know what you think about her in the comments down below but i am excited to see more of her and they definitely nailed the comic look uh here's another shot of princess and just from this image you can see she's very outgoing um and has a good personality and this weapon she has is also like i'm kind of curious to see where she got this weapon uh, uh but yeah she definitely knows how to um and she was helping them and stuff like that you know she was asking like do you guys need what food or anything like that so um you know she knows how to look after herself and you know she looks like she's well trained and in the opening minutes if you guys saw she was killing these walkers like from super far away so she has good aim so definitely an interesting character that i am excited to see more of in the future and then we have this image of Ezekiel and Eugene. And it looks like they're sort of like alarmed here. Like they're putting their hands up. Maybe Princess has their... Uh, oh yeah, in the, in the trailer we had Princess put the gun up. Uh, just sort of playing around. So maybe... Um, or not really playing around. But she was like, if I was a threat, I would hold up the gun like this. Because Yumiko doesn't trust her. Um, but yeah, this is, looks to be like from that scene. Uh, again, another angle. Yumiko, Eugene, and Ezekiel. Uh, and then we have them in the woods here, or in the in the grass, not really woods, but um, yeah, I'm interested to see uh, what what they're go where they're gonna go, like because they it looks like they have like a meetup to go because um, in the trailer, uh, Yumiko said that we have to go, you know, meet up with them somewhere. So and we know the people in Alexandria are leaving, so it looks like they're gonna be um, because they don't want the Whisper Horde to attack Alexandria, their last community. If if Alexandria falls, like their communities are all gone, Alexandria, Hilltop, and the Kingdom. So I think they're gonna meet up somewhere after they go talk to this. Um, uh, after they go to the city, well, they were planning to meet Stephanie, but they ran into Princess. So I think Princess will take them to Stephanie. So we'll see if they ever go back to the Whisper War or what. But I mean, the Whisper War is practically over. It's only like one more episode, but still, I'm interested to see if they're gonna be there for the final fight. Princess could help, you know, because she knows how to fight. Uh, here's an image of Eugene. Uh, an image of Yumiko and Ezekiel, and just from looking at this image, I have a feeling they're not gonna trust. They're just, they're talking about if we can trust Princess, and you know that's pretty common in The Walking Dead. I mean, it's it, I mean, it, there's nothing. I mean, it makes sense because you can't trust everybody in the zombie apocalypse. Too many times, they trusted people, and it turned out to be, or like it bit them back. Um, and then also the whole Dante thing, which is very, which was like fairly recent. So we saw what happened with. I mean, that was probably like the worst I can I can think of right now. Like they they let Dante in, like and Dante like really fooled them because he was playing doctor there for like months and months, and he he finally striked and killed Sadiq. So that was like a big thing. So. The trust issues, I think, are going to skyrocket, you know, moving forward. And uh, Yumiko already, we saw in the trailer in the opening minutes, she doesn't trust Princess. Uh, and that's what they're probably talking about in this image, just from the look of it. 
here's another shot of them this again uh, in the woods and this looks to be in the trailer i'm sure everyone saw there was like this moment where they were standing there in the grass and there was like an explosion i think somebody threw a grenade or something uh, maybe they're testing out something but they're all looking at something on the ground i'm looking at all their eyeballs and they're pointing they're looking at something on the ground ezekiel looks a bit freaked out so like I don't know if it's maybe the, next, the the explosion that was in the trailer or they're looking at a walker or something, but something looks... I mean, I wouldn't say walker because they're all looking at it like they're seeing something like crazy. So I don't know if it's a walker or what, but I am interested to see what this is. And hopefully we get like the Commonwealth at the end of the season. And I know episode 16 is delayed and we're going to get that later on, but hopefully we do get like the actual community which would be awesome. I want to see the Commonwealth community or some sort of hint. And I think we will get it. Um... The next image is a shot of Ezekiel. Uh, he looks a little bit worried. I, I, I'm, I mean, I love Ezekiel. You guys know this. I'm always saying positive stuff about Ezekiel. Hopefully, he sticks around. They're not talking too much about his sickness. Like, they bring it up here and there. Um, so, we'll see if that actually ends up taking, taking him out or something else happens. Or maybe, I think, but the reason, I've, I've mentioned this before in previous videos. I think the reason why Ezekiel is going is because the Commonwealth probably has the material that they need. Because remember, Ezekiel said that his family had that sickness, but they and they all survived because they had the resources. They're living in the zombie apocalypse. Obviously, they don't have the resources, so that's why he's saying, like, my chances are slim. But I think the Commonwealth, you know, being the community they are, and the community we know them by from the comics... They probably have the resources to help Ezekiel, and I think that's why he's going. I, um, I, I'm almost certain. But you guys let me know what you think. Uh, I could totally be wrong. I know I just said I'm almost certain, but, you know, we never know what they're walking at because they have changed it up a bit, you know. It's not really as predictable, I think, as it was before, you know, in previous seasons because things are happening, you know, in random episodes. Main characters are dying in the middle of the season, so it's not that predictable. So let me know what you guys think about Ezekiel. Do you think he's going to live, or what do you think is going to happen to Ezekiel? Uh, the next image, another shot of Yumiko uh, in the same location. Uh, we have Ezekiel, Yumiko, and Eugene here. And then we go to Lydia and Judith. Lydia looks um, very sad, petting the cat here. And Judith is probably going to be the good person and cheer her up. Uh, you know, Judith is a good person. And, um, you know, just, I mean, yeah, Lydia is also going to find out about her mom. I just realized that. I don't think she knows yet. So that's going to be really interesting to see her reaction to that whole thing. And Negan's going to be there with her. We're going to see Negan in, a, in, a, in, a, in a, just a second with these images. So he's probably going to tell her herself. So, I mean, we know Alpha's not a good person, but, you know, it's still her mom. And I'm inter and just looking at this image, she doesn't look too happy. So I'm interested to see her, real, her you know, full reaction. And then this is the image I was talking about. We have Lydia and uh, Negan talking. So that's probably going to be Negan telling Lydia what happened. Um, another image of Negan and Lydia... And then we have an image of Negan here. Uh, another angle of Negan. A lot of these images are pretty much the same scene, just different uh, angles. Uh, yeah, but you can. This is pr probably that scene where she's telling, um, or you know, where Lydia is gonna find out about Alpha. And then Judith is listening, I think, to the conversation. Um, it looks like it's just Negan, Judith, and Lydia here. So it looks like the group might be split up, which is interesting because in the um, in the beginning of the trailer, a lot of people were, um, you know, wondering what happened to Alexandria because they just pretty much took over Alexandria, all the whispers, and they're on foot now, you know, the Alexandrians. So I think they just left because they didn't want Alexandria to get destroyed because the hill, the, I mean, the whispers destroyed the hilltop and the kingdom, essentially. I mean, the kingdom was already sort of like getting ruined because of the pipes and stuff. But, you know, the whispers has, um, you know, they caused a lot of problems for these guys. So... You know, I think that's why they left Alexandria. They don't want their last and final community to, to get destroyed because then what are they gonna what are they gonna do? Where are they gonna sleep? You know, it's gonna take months to rebuild and they're just gonna be sleeping on the ground. I mean, I know they a lot of them have experience of doing that because it's a zombie apocalypse, but still, there's a lot of kids, a lot of elderly people in these communities, and I think that's why they left because they don't want Alexandria to get destroyed. So it looks like maybe the group gets split up. Um, you know, when they're trying to leave because Beta's Horde is big and I wouldn't be surprised if Beta's Horde like intersects them or something. 
And then we have this shot of Negan and then Judith here. And then we have some other people here in the corner. So it looks like there are some people there. And there's going to be some people also probably in the woods. Because we had like that shot of Daryl in the woods. Um, Aaron and you know Alden and them. So that's going to be interesting. And then here's a shot of uh, Negan as well. Um, and then, and then going, going back outside we have Judith. And then we have some whispers. These images kind of go side by side. It looks like Judith and then these whispers. I mean, this looks kind of creepy. The way this whisper is like holding a gun. And then that other image, uh, Judith is like peeking around the corner or like over the tree. So I, I, what I'm thinking right now, you know, knowing these Grimes kids, they're, o they're always sneaking out, you know. Uh, so Carl is notorious. Like he's known for sneaking out um, and not following orders. So I feel like Judith is gonna do the same thing. Negan is probably gonna tell her to stay, and then she's probably just gonna leave and get in some trouble. I'm sure she's gonna be okay, but that's what it kind of looks like in these images. She, she might go after Daryl because remember Daryl is always. Uh, she was asking Daryl to help, you know, train her and stuff like that. So I think she might be going after Daryl. Daryl probably asked Negan to watch Judith and. Uh, Lydia and that kind of also says a lot if that if that does happen because Negan is not even tied up or anything He's just, he's there um, You know untied and he's with the community now So it's sort of like he's gaining trust now, which is interesting and then we have one last image of Daryl in the woods pointing his uh, His crossbow at something on the ground probably a walk or a whisper But yeah, it looks like the whispers are gonna be hunting them down which is kind of scary and Could also be very exciting because that's gonna be um, you know, the whispers are going to go to Alexandria and they're not going to be there and Beta is going to pretty much ask them to hunt them down in the woods. So that's kind of scary to think about. So it looks like this is going to be like, you know, headed towards the final battle. And the final battle looks like it's not going to be in Alexandria because they left Alexandria. So I'm interested to see if they're going to like cross paths with like the Commonwealth and Yumiko and Princess in them, possibly Maggie in the finale. So... This episode looks to be really big in terms of setting up that special episode. It's going to be episode 16. Um, and then also, I'm very excited to see more of the Commonwealth and Princess and stuff like that. So let me know what you think about these images in the comments down below. Let me know what you think is going to happen in this episode. Those were the images we got, so hopefully you guys did enjoy. I am going to wrap it up there. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like rating. Let me, again, let me know all your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. If you're a fan of The Walking Dead, be sure to subscribe because we're still going to be posting a lot of Walking Dead videos on the channel. So stay tuned by hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys are all doing okay. You know, you and your families. Um, again, you know, please watch after yourselves and, you know, be careful out there. And I appreciate all the support on these videos. Uh, thank you guys for watching and, you know, commenting and leaving likes and stuff like that. So thank you for all the support on these videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.